In his epic, The Institutes of Biblical Law, Rush Dooney set forth the basic doctrines of Christian Reconstruction. Every word of the Bible is literally true. The Bible contains God's law for all people for all times, for individuals as well as government. An American society is in decay, he writes. It is the task of Christians to reconstruct this country using the Bible as their blueprint. Why the Bible? Why does it become the basis for this new society? Because the Bible is God's word. Because the Bible is God's declaration of the way of life. That here is justice. But the laws in the Old Testament were written for a primitive people living in a nomadic agricultural society. And here we are living in a modern, technological, industrial society joined by economic forces that are beyond nations and beyond governments. How can the laws that were considered a covenant between a small group of people on a tiny sliver of geography two, three, four thousand years ago apply to the world you and I live in? Because they're God's truth. If the Bible is the basis for law, why not just simply substitute it for the Constitution? The Constitution gives us procedural law, not a substantive morality. So anyone can use the Constitution for good or ill. But it has to be the people as they change and govern themselves. The Constitution cannot save this country. Ancient Jerusalem is the model for Reconstructionists of the ideal biblical government. Israel was a theocracy. God ruled Israel, and God's laws, the covenant, form the sole basis for the social, political, economic, and cultural order of the day. Modern Washington is a far cry from ancient Jerusalem. To Reconstructionists, it's more like Sodom and Gomorrah. I think people sense that things are falling apart, economically, politically, and in every way, that a worldwide breakdown is underway of our culture. And they are looking for answers as to what does the future hold? The state is a bankrupt institution. As a result, they're going to have to find it religiously or go into a dark age. And men are fearful. As a result, they are being thrown back on their basic resources. If they have a faith, they are looking to that faith to provide the answers. And so you have Islamic fundamentalism. You have within the Christian community a desire to go back to the biblical roots and to reorder society biblically. You've written that uh, the Bible calls for the death penalty, and I'm just running down a yes. variety of things, as you can see. You've written that the Bible calls for the death penalty for some 15 crimes, rape, sodomy, Adultery? Adultery because in the Bible, the basic institution is the family. There's no law of treason against the state. The Bible doesn't even imagine anything remotely like that. But the basic institution is the family. And so several of the death penalties are associated with the family and its life. So adultery was considered a theft of the family? It was, yes, it was treason to the family. Homosexuality? Yes, it was treason to the family. Worthy of the death sentence. What? Worthy of the death sentence. Uh, deserving yes. of the death sentence. Yes, that's what Paul says. And what about the one that Christian Reconstructionists are really suspect on, and that's incorrigible young people, juvenile delinquency, because there are cases in the Old Testament where incorrigible young people were put to death. The law there is very interesting. It specifies a son, not a child, and an incorrigible delinquent. Now, the case of the incorrigible son was chosen first because blood could not be above justice. So the parents had to participate by saying, yes, our son is indeed an incorrigible criminal. Second, it was the foundation of the death penalty in the United States until 72, whereby a third or fourth offender, depending on the state, who was a habitual criminal, was executed. That's where we get the law, right out of that law mm -hmm. from Deuteronomy. But you would 
reinstate the death penalty for some of these or all of these biblical crimes? I wouldn't. But I'm in the reconstructed society. Uh, uh, oh, I'm saying that this is what God requires. I'm not saying that everything in the Bible I like. Some of it rubs me the wrong way. But I'm simply saying this is what God requires. This is what God says is justice. Therefore, I don't feel I have a choice. And the agents of God would carry out the laws? The civil government would on these things. So you would have a civil government oh, based yes, upon... Oh, yes, I'm not an anarchist. No, I understand I'm that. I'm close to being a libertarian, but... Uh, but the civil law is based upon the biblical law. Yes. And so you'd have a civil government carrying out a, a religious mandate. Oh, yes, because all law is a religious mandate. It just depends on what religion it is. Well, but then, all law is a religious mandate. Then which religion runs the civil government? That's the question. 